What's up guys, thanks for being back at the channel. I know it's been a while, but I can tell you I'm still flying a lot. I just don't feel like posting any videos. So, but I've been working a lot in the FPV scene, behind the scenes, um, always on the search for new exciting things to develop and tweaking stuff. So today it's really exciting to show you what I've been using now for the last couple months. And I wanted to wait with that video till it's, uh, almost available for everyone to do that mod so uh, let's get right into it i've been using the spectrum radio you know, for over two and a half years super excited about it but for some big races uh, like dcl or dr1 it was required to use the crossfire so i spoke to spectrum and told them hey i really want to use your radio but we need to work on a way to get the, the crossfire working on the on the spectrum radio so they came up with a way, an easy solution that you can just switch from DSMX to Spectrum inside the radio. And, but I always got tired like putting the module on the back with some sticky tape or a Velcro or something and run a, another external battery to it. So I thought, why not like just integrate it in the radio? So here it is, as you maybe saw from the shots at the intro, it's, all integrated in there and um, yeah I'm super excited about it it's like having a radio with the integrated crossfire like is most the most exciting thing ever and uh, I just want to talk about it a little bit what I did to the radio and um, show you guys later some pictures because I uh, documented the, the progress of how to do that mod so and as a little side note, we are working on Spectrum to release the software that you need to run with that with that modification. But this will come out soon, hopefully beginning of the year, so you can just update your transmitter, do a little bit modification of running the wire from the crossfire inside. You need to open up your radio, but I think if you used to work on quads, that should be not a big deal. So um, that module is wired to the to the internal battery and with a switch that I assigned to it you can either run the DSMX, the normal spectrum protocol or you use the crossfire and to save battery you can just um, uh, turn it on and off with a switch and also um, I deleted all the buttons on top of the radio and I rearranged some of them um, just to have it a cleaner look because I don't think you need that many many switches and buttons so I got this little plastic caps. I think you can get them at Lowe's or Home Depot. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited with that mod. I've been flying it for a while. It looks super clean. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you some more pictures. Don't wanna talk so much about it. As I'm gonna make another video as soon as the, the firmware is available for the radio. So you can just convert, convert your radio or switch it over to Crossfire. And uh, till now, see you at the next one.